Hey, what's going on? Hi, how are you? Good. So this is the house. The guy's asking $450. Okay. And it's about 1,500 square feet. Have you gone inside yet? I haven't gone inside, but I did pull up the comps for you. Okay, so they're comping at about 550? Yeah, at about 550. We're a three bedroom, two bath, 1500 square feet, right? But there's one that just sold for 556. That's only 1300 square feet. Okay. So, I mean, if we were able to get this house and we did it up right, we might be able to get as high as 575. Awesome. You wanna check it out? Yeah. So one thing I did notice when I pulled up, look at the sloping roof right here. We've had this style house before. It's kind of like a storybook style. It's yeah. very hard to modernize it. We tried to sell it like this, we wouldn't get the highest side of the comps. Right. Modernizing the roof line could be really expensive. So we'll have to see what the contractor says. Oh. Here we go. Oh my God. Oh. He said it was a little bit dirty. A little bit dirty. Is that a pigeon in the living room? Oh my God, where did it come from? Let's just try to focus. This is just horrific smelling. All right, so you walk in, bedroom on the right. Is that a bathroom? God, this smells getting worse. No, I'm just trying not to breathe. Where's the smell coming from and what is it gonna be? Oh, oh my God. It's the weirdest thing I've ever seen in my life. This must be the master because it's attached to a bedroom. So to redo this, Existing layout, probably about 6,000. This 1,527 square foot house has three bedrooms and two baths. But the layout's kind of funky with the bedroom right off the entryway. The main living areas seem pretty spacious though. Oh my gosh, this is the room where it's coming from. Did they come from the smell or did they create the smell? I don't know. Oh, oh my God. Oh, oh, oh it wasn't there. Oh, oh, oh. Right, don't we... lift up the hat again. Is there any way to make this kitchen bigger? Well, you would take out this wall, yeah. I'm assuming. To redo this existing kitchen, which is really small, it's about eight to 9,000. All right. What's going on in that room down there? This looks like a family room. Okay. It was built fairly well. You have support beams, you have ducting for the AC and heat. Okay. Bedroom number two. Not the biggest bedroom, but it's, it's okay size. Yeah, it works. <sighs> bathroom, why is the bathroom so messy? <laughs> That's strange. What is this? Why would there be a second door to the bathroom that opens into the sink? We'd have to close this door off, and the bathroom is a total gut. Okay. This is about 10,000. Bedroom number three? Oh, it smells awful. Like All it. new drywall needed. Yeah. Maybe a thousand here? Okay. Ah! All right, we got a good sized dead yard. It's cleaned up, some green grass. It'll be really nice. Right off the bat, I'm thinking it's about a $60,000 remodel. So, I mean, it's definitely a house that Jeff's gonna have to look at, though. All right, let's give him a call. Hey, Jeff. What's up, buddy? Guys? You're in for a big treat in here. Uh oh. We have birds in the most horrific smell ever. The one issue that we are seeing is the front of the house has different levels of the roof line, okay. and it has like a big, I don't know, arrow shape to the front of it. Okay. Take into consideration that we're gonna have to fix all that and make it look like a normal house. Ooh. So what'd you think of the house? The only thing that really stood out to me was the kitchen's really small. You know those walls in there with the posts? I think if those came down, we could do a lot more with the kitchen. Oh. All right, well, let's see what he comes up with. <laughs> what do you think about the stench? So bad, huh? I'm not gonna eat for a while. How much do you think it's gonna cost to make this house normal? You're probably looking around 60,000. Does that include removing the wall between the kitchen and the living room? Yeah. After negotiating with the seller, we were able to meet halfway and we ended up buying the house for $435,000. The rotten smell has been eradicated, so it's time to get to work. I wouldn't stand close to me, buddy. Yeah. Everything's shaking. What the hell was that? What was that? They had tiles stored in the attic. Oh my God. Look, it was between the beams, everything shifted. Demoing the wall must have shook it loose. We are really lucky nobody got hurt. I mean, look at all the sharp edges on this tile. That could oh, yeah. really hurt somebody. Yeah, most That's... importantly, everyone's okay. Fun times. Jeff? 
How's it going? Oh my gosh, looks so much better in here. A little bit bigger, huh? So much better. Tark's having a kid date, so I'm gonna let him just enjoy that, and I'm gonna handle the bathroom situation over here. Okay. I would love to close this door off right here. Okay. And create a private master bathroom. All right. Vanity here, toilet there, shower here. The house is moving along pretty fast. So to get ahead of the game, Christina and I are going shopping today for the master bath and guest bath. Well, we're gonna do white shaker cabinets, right? Right. This is super cool, actually. So why don't we take this one and maybe one more? This one, it's pretty. Okay, let's go pick floor tile. You know what's cool about this? It's tile that looks like it's gonna be laid out like wood. Honestly, that was perfect. We don't need to look anymore. I love it. Thank you. Hey. Hey, you scared me. Sorry, it's looking good. I like the darker countertop. It definitely just like adds a different pop of color and it ties in really nicely with the mosaic band. And the texture on the tile looks perfect. You look at the size of the shower, it's huge, you know, because we did go into the laundry room, we took out that door, and what is this, like a six foot by two and a half foot shower? Yeah, I mean, everyone in this area is gonna love to have a private master bath. It's coming together. Yep. It would be really nice if we could just have one solid, normal looking roof line. We'd have to do the entire roof over again. So all in, wow. new roof. 13 to 15. Wow, that's really high. I don't think we can afford that. What are your thoughts? Every time I pull up, I'm like, where the heck is the front door? And I think just removing only that peak, it's just not enough. I think the entry overhang has to go too. Wow. To draw attention to where the front door is. Because right now I feel like no one could ever find it. So what do you think we're looking at to remove this roof line? 900 bucks. Okay, that's much better. So we'll remove the peak for 1,000 and the entry overhang for 900. We'll get it all knocked out and you guys can come back and take a look at it after all the landscaping is cleaned up. Okay. All right, you guys. Thank you. Hey. Hi, floors look good. Floors came out amazing. What is that? I bought this light because it'll help define the space separating the kitchen from the dining room. See, a little I, pop. I mean, it's big, but I love it. I think it's super cool. Okay, first impression, it looks so much better with that peak removed. Yeah, well, it was so dark before, and now the peak's gone, and the roof line covering the front door is gone, and you can actually see the entryway. Yeah, huge difference. The problem is the roof line's coming down too much. It's covering the windows, and it actually makes the house look smaller. So how do you feel about maybe cutting back the roof line? You think like, it's going to be expensive? I don't think it's going to be cheap, but I think at this point, the house has so much potential, we might as well go for it. I think it's definitely worth spending the money. All right, what do you think about paint? I think we should keep it simple and modern, maybe a light gray for the base and a darker gray for a trim. All right, I'll let Jeff know. And we have to do something with the entryway. I don't know what. Figure right, we'll it figure it out. How's it going? Good, check this out. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. The kitchen came out amazing. The, that pony wall's gone. We ended up doing this little peninsula. It actually came out better than I thought. Okay, I must say, you pulled it off. I told you. It looks good. No, no, this looks spectacular. The exterior of the house actually, by some miracle, came out really nice. Actually, has curb appeal now. We paid 435, we put 70 into it. So that puts us at 505. We're gonna have closing costs about 25, so the break even's 530. Okay. Oh, sweet home. Wow, fancy. It's like completely different house. Completely modernizes it. The new living room came out so good. It's much more light and bright in here. Oh, look at this kitchen. Very pretty. The light looks cute. It actually is really nice. I think families are gonna love the fact that there's a family room over here and a living room here. It gives an area for kids to play and hang out and extra stuff. Master looks so nice. It's 
not the biggest master. It works. But there is a private bathroom. Private bathroom looks really good. I like the way the shower turned out. Yeah, it's a big shower. That's where the pigeons chased you. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh yeah, that fun day of pigeons. Closing off the door to the kitchen made it so much bigger in here. Let's check out this room. Beautiful. It's really nice. Flipping this dirty bird house was a lot of work, but it paid off when we accepted an offer at $600,000. If this deal goes through, we stand to make a profit of almost $66,000. Time to find another house to flip. <laughs>